Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Car and more importantly, Motor Mountain USA. And we have a special episode for you. Look at this, this is the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Look at this, McKinney Rubicon Springs Road Staging Area. We're at the Rubicon, folks. That's right, it's time for high adventure. And I'm serious about the adventure part because we're about to go up the Rubicon Trail, doing some off-roading with the trailer. And then after that, we're gonna go up to the highest drivable mountain in California. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And that's all coming up next. Look at this, how's that? How's that for, how's that for luxury? Oh yeah. One of the things you're able to get is a map showing the Rubicon Trail now. It doesn't really explain how difficult some of it is, and some of it is really difficult. As a matter of fact, we highly recommend that you bring a trail-rated vehicle. Now, in this case, the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon is, and so is our trailer. For those of you who actually decide to do this, it is recommended that you air down a little bit and make sure that you have all the necessary tools to get you out of trouble. If you don't have a winch, a high lift jack, snatch blocks, you name it, all that stuff you need. Also, if you're taking a trailer, make sure that it is able to actually be taken off-road because trust me on this, there are gonna be a lot of big rocks. This vehicle, the Jeep Wrangler, was specifically built and designed to go off-road. It didn't come out of a factory with, oh, you know what, this is kind of a car and kind of a crossover or whatever. No, no, no. When they put the frame together, they thought, what will work best off-road? When they put the panels together, they thought, what would work best off-road? The short overhangs, the way the bumpers are designed, the, the mirror, way the fenders, mirrors, the mirrors, mirrors, exactly. Everything in the Jeep Wrangler is built to be good off-road. And although this is really big compared to the original Wrangler, and especially to yeah. like a CJ5, it is still remarkably tight and capable. And I mean, are you worried at all with any no. of these obstacles? No, I haven't. I haven't been worried yet. The hardest and obstacle has been the trailer, dragging it up and over things. Yes. That's, that's been the main issue. That's another variable, a whole nother variable. In it. it is, but it is also trail rated. And by the way, we went through desert with yeah. air conditioning <laughs> yeah, on blasting. the highway. Yep. So this vehicle is built off-road and on-road as well. Yeah, you know, that's an incredible thing. I remember back in the days when older Jeep-based vehicles uh, didn't have very good air conditioning <laughs> or any It air was great today. It was 95, 97 uh -huh, degrees. Yep. And we just had it on and we were chilling out and relaxing, good music and a decent stereo. Rubicon is um, really a mixed bag, but one of the things it really has are rocks. Lots of beautiful rocks. And I just got to my first rock. The hard part is actually taking the trailer over this. Because the trailer is a lot of extra drag, but it works, and the trailer has been trail rated. All right, so Rubicon's been awesome so far. We've been taking it in low gear. Um, the hardest part is the trailer, the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Unlimited, Hard Rock long name it um, it has no problem here it's not gonna be an issue but we have the trailer because of that there's extra pull when you're going over heavy obstacles like rocks and small boulders you have to add a little bit more power than perhaps you would want to under normal circumstances just to pull it up and over and you'd be surprised how much a light trailer like this requires out of this engine fortunately Pentastar V6 doesn't really have that much of a problem. So much better than the old engines that just didn't quite have enough power. Well, 
but we're sadly at the turnaround point, which is a few miles in. Enough to say that we managed to do some pretty cool obstacles. I know it gets rougher from here, um, but the real issue is we have a schedule to keep. Let's see, what you guys don't see when we're filming is that we have these really, really tight windows of time to get to these various mountaintops to distribute the belt buckles, but also to actually get there. We have to find a place to camp or a motel or hotel or whatever, normally camping. But we have to do a lot of things, checking weather conditions, road conditions, all these things, even during the summer. Roads can be closed and have been before. We even have an, we had an avalanche back uh, when we were getting into uh, Wyoming. So, unfortunately, as fun as this is, and it is an awesome trail, it's so much fun. It's something that we only get a limited time with, but it is definitely a trail we're gonna come back to. By we, I mean me. Well, guys, I really wish we had an opportunity to go all the way down the Rubicon, but that would have taken a long time. So far, we've made it almost to the second trailhead, and that's unfortunately where we're gonna have to turn around and head back, because we still have to hide the belt buckle at the highest peak, the highest mountain top. But no problem so far with this. I mean, wow, it's been a lot of fun. And you know what? What you guys don't have a chance to see is that behind the camera, Andre has been scrambling to get as much footage as humanly possible. Come here, Andre, come on. Well, can I, can I uh, put some turtle wax on there? Uh, no, 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 no turtle wax while we're on the trail. But I can tell you this, we've been blessed by having an opportunity to take the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon to the Rubicon. Here we are. Isn't that freaking awesome? I, I feel honored, humble, really. That's what we get right here, with a little bit of nice. Uh, yeah, and it's us, not Roman. <laughs> So this is pretty an intense uh, grade here. Yep. Uh, are you going into low? Certainly am. We're in low range. The reason we why is because there's a lot of loose rock and there's a washed away gully up here. Um, at, at one point we would have said, yeah, you could probably bring a nice crossover up here and you know, as long as you have some ground clearance, it'd be all right. But now yeah. it's getting a little challenging. I don't know if I would go up in anything less than a proper 4x4. At least, if you're going to come up here in a crossover, make sure you have good tires. Yeah, off-road tires, because there are a lot of sharp rocks sharp sticking out. Sharp hell. Yeah. I mean, they are jagged. You should see what we're seeing. Well, you will. <laughs> you will see that. Yes. And we're going to over 11,000 feet to the White Mountain trailhead basically yeah there's a lab up there but there's a gate so we want to see how far we can push this if there, maybe the gate is open who knows say laboratory laboratory say, god it sounds so much better when you have a russian accent oh uh, evil lair yeah yeah there's a laboratory uh it's a laboratory yes but it's one that we're not allowed to go to Well, folks, we are on top of White Mountain in California. According to our instruments, 11,678 feet. This is as far as we can go because behind me, over there, is the University of California's Barcroft Facility and Pace Lab. And what they do, among other things, is test the effects of high altitude on mammals and animals. Here's one of the stories. They actually have a group of dogs that they take from Louisiana in the wintertime up here annually to test the effects of high altitude, which is interesting, but I'm not about to walk two miles up to the lab to find out. No, <laughs> we are stopping here. Here it is, California belt buckle. Get a pretty picture of that. Does that look good, Andre? Yeah. When you find it, please do us a favor. Take a selfie of yourself with the belt buckle. We are about six miles away from where the gate is for the entryway onto the laboratory road. Laboratory road. Andre's messing with my head. See that? You guys, you pause your screens. We got a little spot right here 
we don't want to destroy the ground around here. So we're just going to put this here, and then I'm going to put a large rock. Hold it right there. I'm going to get a large rock. Large rock. There we go. There you go. Just that simple. Beautiful, isn't it? Some of it looks like the pictures I've been seeing from Mars. I mean, it's incredible. It's, it's like another planet. And it's on and off with vegetation, weird trees, juniper bushes, you name it. For the Fast Lane Car, this is Nathan Adlin. And behind the camera, my man, Andre. Don't forget to go to tflcar.com for news, views, and real world reviews. I I'm just taking this all in, it's amazing. Don't forget about Mortar Mountain Monday, man. Every Monday. See you guys later. Don't forget to go to tflcar.com for news, views, and real world reviews. And don't forget to go and look at Motor Mountain USA every Monday. It is awesome and adventure just keeps going and going and going. California was amazing. Wait till you see the next date. For those of you who have been watching TFL Car, we're, we're right now at the California border where we have to check in and let them know we don't it's have any It's the fruits. agricultural inspection point exactly. from Nevada to California. And we're in California! That's a tent trailer. Take care. Thank you. See, when you come into California, the old school thinking is they would say, Oh, what's up, man? They don't do that anymore. Oh. They're kind of straight laced. Oh, well, she said what's in the, in the back. So. Yeah. And we do have a camp trailer. Well, I've learned not to say heavy drugs. Oh. If you say heavy drugs, they might become suspicious. So, tent trailer okay. works better. I was going to say uh, onions. Onions. All right. <laughs> <laughs>